Carl Smith. Morning, Your Honor. Good morning, Mr. Smith. Well, this is a very serious matter, Mr. I Smith. Know, I stole you have, your money. You have a uh, parking ticket, and you made a down payment on the parking ticket of ten dollars. No, it was a left wheel to the, tur- to the curb. It wasn't a parking ticket. Left wheel to the curb. Yeah, it's a parking ticket. Well, it's parking left wheel to the curb. Yeah. Okay. I just haven't had the money to pay, Your Honor. I'm homeless right now. I'm actually sleeping in my car right this minute. It's been a rough year. Mr. Smith, this is a uh, $30 parking ticket charging you with parking left wheels to the curb. Yeah. You received the ticket, and then in a timely fashion, you made a part payment of $10. Yeah. And there's a $20 balance. Yeah. And I don't have the heart to charge you the $20. Well, okay. I just ran out of money. And I'm going to dismiss the ticket. I appreciate it, Your Honor. But I wish you well. You know, what did you do when, when you worked? I lived in newspapers for like 40 years. You did? But, well, New York and Providence Journal. You did? Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I'm an old newspaper boy myself. <laughs> There's, a way, to put the paper. There's yeah. a way to put the paper together so you can throw it and it doesn't become unraveled. Yeah. It's a secret. I don't want to show anybody. I know the secret. Okay. You, you know how to do that, right? Yeah, I know how to throw the Sunday paper over yeah, the yeah, car, too. Yeah, you do this, right? Yeah. I used to do that occasionally just for fun, right? Yeah, I can't do it anymore, though. Let me ask you a question, seriously. You're homeless or sleeping in your car. Okay. Like, what can we do to help you? Is there something anybody can do to help you? I'm trying to get a house, but, you know, apartment, but it's rough. Are you, com- yeah. are you completely broke? Yeah. I get SSI, but that's it. All right, just hold on for a minute. Okay, Mr. Smith, you've been before the court. You have a parking ticket. I'm going to dismiss the parking ticket. You know, and the thing that impresses me is you have a good, you have a good healthy spirit. You don't complain. You're not talking about, you know, poor me. You know, you got a healthy spirit, and you're looking to try to get a break. You're looking for an apartment. But I know you're completely broke. I have people from all over the world that send me letters of encouragement for, to help people like you. And I have people who also uh, send in money asking me to use my discretion on how I can help people. I have a letter from a gentleman named Terry Munro. He, says, he actually says, you don't have to mention me. He's not interested in publicity, but he's from Canada. He's from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And he says, he's enclosing $50 in cash, right? to help a person experiencing difficult challenges and needs some help. You fit the bill unquestionably. I definitely appreciate that. I'm going to have that. Inspector Quinn give you this $50 in cash. I definitely Judge, appreciate It's only 40 that. It's a 10% handling fee. Ah. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have Inspector Quinn give you this $50 in cash. Please use it, you know, for some food, for some nourishment. Maybe give yourself a treat. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, good luck to you. It breaks my heart when someone like Carl comes before me, a hardworking guy who is now living in his car. Sadly, Carl's situation is far from unique. Because of the lack of affordable housing, it is now estimated that over 200,000 Americans are living in their vehicles. Compounding their troubles, many communities have now made it a crime to live in your car. Thankfully, that's not the case everywhere. Many nonprofit organizations are trying a more compassionate approach. The implementation of safe parking programs, designated parking lots where the homeless can safely park overnight. Many of these lots are staffed with caseworkers who help people like Carl find permanent housing. I encourage everyone to support your local homeless organizations. Everyone deserves the dignity and safety of a warm bed at night. Let's all remember the phrase, all but for the grace of God go I, and do whatever we can to help the homeless. Come on, how cool is that? If you'd like to see more cases like this one, tune into Court in Providence every weekday. Excuse me? You didn't know Court in Providence is also a TV show. Oh, wow, your life just got substantially better. To find out what channel we're on, go to courtinprovidence.com, click on your local listings, Scroll down till you find your hometown, then start doing your happy dance. That's it. Move it. Move it. Nice.
All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.